Everyone again and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. I'm going to share with us today. We'll be starting promptly in just two minutes. Two minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. So thank you everyone again and welcome.
And right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's exactly 5.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Please put your hands together and welcome our host to present today from the Stock Exchange. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, Kevin, for that nice introduction. And thank you, OnlineTraderCentral.com, for hosting this event today. So welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. Today I'm going to do a webinar about making money in the first 30 minutes of the day. This is actually a strategy that I personally trade. So this is about a 30 minute money making strategy. Hey there, hey there Jerry. If you have questions just feel free to plop the questions there in the room and I will try to answer them as we go along today. If you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswish.com, and feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information after viewing the webinar today. And I have a ton of videos on YouTube if you'd like to go there as well and watch some of the trades I've done and other webinars that I have presented as well. So let's get started here today. Do you want to make money in the market? You know, if you do, this is probably the reason why you came today or even found out about me in the first place. You probably have this inkling within yourself, something, something that's pressing you on. You really have a passion and a desire to make money in the market. Do you want to train the market but don't have a lot of time to devote to training each day? And this might be the reason maybe that you've never decided to actually sit down and learn how to trade because you really don't have a lot of time to devote to it each day, but you really want to learn how to trade the stock market. Do you want to do something, something, anything in your life to have more money coming in each month? And the thing is, trading is a great thing because you can train part-time and still have another source of income, whether you run a business or work part-time or full-time, you can train on the side and also have another job. And do you want to learn, but you just don't know where to start? It's like you want to learn, your brain is active. What can I do? What can I do? How can I figure this out? But you don't have a good foundation and don't know where to go from here. So this is what we're going to talk about today. Really, the market is such a wonderful thing. And it's like you really have to have a strategy to trade the market. And you might want to do this, but don't have an exact means to do it, meaning a strategy. A strategy is something that is a vehicle for the reason you are taking a trade in the first place. Do you want to find a way to pick which stock to trade in the market that will move? And when I mean move, I mean a dollar move or more on the day to pay you, because this is how you're getting paid in the market. You're getting paid with moves of stocks, whether up or down, on momentum. And do you want to trade the market, but just don't know where to start? Well, welcome. Welcome today because we're going to talk about where to start and what to do. First things first, you've got to find a strategy that meets your needs, okay? That meets your needs, meaning something that you can do, that you can make money within the time period that you've allotted on, you know, per day to actually take trades and spend focusing on the market. I clipped a little chart here of ARO, beautiful nice gap that happened back at the end of August and had a little move down today, actually got to the target today here, the target was 955 and got to the target today and this is still lower for an ongoing swinger core trade. And here was a gap. This is actually the strategy that I trade. This is the gap right here, this is ARO. And there's lots of reasons to trade gaps. One of them is that they have consistent setups, meaning it's not like you're going to go weeks and weeks and days and days without finding a trade. Consistent means you get it several times a week. And here was a nice 15-minute chart in Apple. This actually happened last week. Had two nice setups here in the 15-minute and also, of course, the morning move. So one reason to trade gaps is they do have consistent setups. Another reason to trade gaps is the great risk to reward payout. Really looking for three to four on the low end. That's if something really doesn't go to the target of the dream target. And eight to 10 on the high end if something goes to the target or the dream target. And that's a good risk to reward. Making one to one or two to one is not a great risk to reward. And I typically will actually pass and stay away from trades like that. As silly as it sounds, I want to put my money to work for me and I'm looking for things that are going to have a good risk to reward. And gaps do. 
Another reason to trade gaps is they have beautiful profits. And when I mean beautiful, I mean that when you take the trade, nine times out of ten, it'll move as soon as you're in it and you're up money. And sometimes you make so much more than expected. And that's the beautiful thing about trading gaps. And, of course, trading something with momentum. Another great reason to trade gaps is the day is in quickly. You trade gaps in the morning, boom, you're done. And when I say the morning, I mean the morning Eastern time. The market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. And depending on what time zone you're in, it could be the morning, it could be the night. However, the market opens at 9.30 and gaps set up between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. If I'm not in a trade by 10 a.m., I'm probably not doing a trade that day. So your day can be in quickly. If you trade gaps, meaning your workday, the actual amount of time that you spend sitting in front of the computer and putting in your workday, if you're a full-time trader, your day is in quickly once you make that money in that first gap trade. And another wonderful reason to trade gaps is they have small stops. And this was DRI. This is actually a 15-minute chart of DRI, and it had a dinky, winky, little tight stop actually around lunchtime and one in the afternoon on Friday. Uh, gaps, beautiful gap trades, have small stops. And that's another good reason to trade them because this is how you're getting the risk to reward. You're getting a tiny stop with a nice, beautiful move. Even this is a tiny stop with a nice, beautiful move. This is actually a doji entry here on the 15 minute. That was DRI from Friday. So another great reason to trade gaps is less stressful. And you know what? I call it no suffering. I don't like to suffer. I like to take my trades. I like to get them to go. I like to get them to work. I like to be paid. I like them to go, 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 go. Less stress. They're less stressful to trade because you're only focusing on one thing. And actually, I only focus on one thing typically in this one direction, which is to the downside. Although you can do gaps to the upside. So it's just less stressful. You don't have to wonder, what am I going to do today? You know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to focus on one thing, gaps. And another reason to trade gaps is the power money makes gaps. This gap back from HPQ, this was back in the middle of the end of August. This is HPQ. Power money made that gap. Beautiful, fantastic gap. And you know what? It ran down five days before the gap, but it didn't matter. Power money sold out of this stop the day of the gap. And it dropped. And actually, this is just bleeding here. This has gotten to the swing trade target already here in the 200 pro moving average. The chart is definitely lower, and it has had a beautiful move and had the biggest move with momentum the day of the gap. And what made gaps? What made this gap in HPQ? Power money. I call it power money, the power money people, the people that control the trends in stock charts and the market, by the way. Another reason to trade gaps is they are effective and efficient. You get the job done. What is a job? What is the reason that you're trading? You're trading to make money. Let's face it. They're efficient because they happen quickly, and if they fail, they fail quickly. So they're very efficient and very effective. Another reason to trade gaps is the moves happen in the early a.m., and again, this is a great thing because you can do your job and get on with your day. Whatever you have to do, whatever you want to do, it's a great time of the day to get in, get out, be done, move on with whatever you got to do in the day. And another reason to trade gaps, as I've been talking about, is the pure momentum. And Apple's had another beautiful momentum move today, actually. So here is Apple Daily. Beautiful, 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 perfect gap last week back here in Apple. This was on the 16th. And it gapped up today, but it was a bullish gap up failure, but had a nice big red bar today as well. Uh, this has had momentum all over the place lately. Just a nice, beautiful chart in a fantastic downtrend. And, of course, one of my favorite reasons to trade gaps is that the moves happen fast. The moves happen fast, so you get paid quickly in these. And this is a beautiful reason to trade gaps. And they're easy to spot, okay? You want to trade gaps. There, It's not like you have to think, is it really doing this? Is it not doing this? I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. No. One of the other reasons to trade gaps is they're easy to spot. Once you know how to pick them, it's not like you can't tell this is gapping. BRCM, you could tell it was gapping here. From the night before it closed up here, approximately around 3250 ish And here it gapped down the next day at $32. And then it got the next day, and it closed here the night before at around 3150 and gapped down the next day here at approximately 28 something. So you can see the stock gap here, this is visible, and the stock gap here, very easy to spot. It's not like it's going to take you a long time to find these gaps, although you do have to know how to trade them and how to pick them. So, how are you going to find and pick which gaps to trade? 
Well, I have a way to do this. I actually rate them. I actually do this the old-fashioned way by looking at the price of the gap and rating them. Gaps really are a specialized strategy, and my favorite thing to do, and actually I'll never do anything else in the market. Gaps are a specialized strategy. If you want to make money in the market, you need to think and act like a true professional. And this is what I'm teaching people to do, actually. This is true even if you're trading only part-time. So even if you are only trading part-time, you still have to be a professional because you want to do well. Professionals have specialized strategies, systems, and reasons for taking trades. They don't do trades willy-nilly. They have 100% conviction, and they have a specialized reason and system for doing something. So really, what is it about gaps that makes them so profitable? Why is there so much money in these gaps? Because, as I was talking about earlier, gaps are made by large institutions, large institutional money, and by that I mean hedge fund money, banks that are investing in the market. Gaps are created with large institutional money, and that is what makes the gap in the first place. No amount of traders, if we all got together in a row, could ever, ever, ever make a gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it because you want to be with those people. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it and then you play it to make money. Gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency. When a stock gap's down, like HPQ, this is, that's a sense of urgency. That is a big sense of urgency. You have to make a decision. What are you going to do? Keep the trade. Be down money. Sell out of it. You're up. Now you're down. You were up a lot. Now you're not up a lot. There's a sense of urgency there. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock, people that own the stock long, or maybe people that are shorted that want to get in short more. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you are trading on the side of power money, and power money makes the market, by the way. There would not be a market without power money. Power money makes and sets the tone for the market. The, the QQQs, the SPY, all the stocks that exist and trade on the market. So how do you pick which gap to trade? How do you pick it? And how many gaps are there in a day? There are hundreds, there are thousands. And are they all good? No. So you need a proven system to find the best gap because there's so many, so many every single day, and lots of them there's nothing to do with. So you have to be able to find the right one because a gap really is something that when a stock closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time when the market closes, at a certain price point and opens the next day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time at a different price point, that's a gap, okay? So almost everything gaps every single day because nothing hardly ever opens tomorrow morning at the same price it closed today. So you have to find a way to pick the stock that is going to move and have the momentum. So I trained this system, I created it for myself, and now I'm teaching it to people, and it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. This is how I find what I'm going to play and pick on the day. And actually tonight, I'll tell you right now, I was looking at it before we started. I'm watching Red Hat, RHT. I have not rated it yet. I'm probably going to rate it when I'm done here tonight to play tomorrow. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. So my system really teaches you how to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, meaning it's going to move and move all day if you wanted to trade it. Number two, big moves on the day. Again, momentum, a dollar plus or more, depending on the size of the stock. If it's a high price point stock, you're looking for a large move. Early confirmation of my bias in the move, which is between 9.30 and 10. And number four, precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward, because this is the goal. This is really the goal. This is the reason that I am deciding to trade, because I want to get a good risk-to-reward when I take trades in the market. So the philosophy behind the Golden Gap system and the reason that I created it was really to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. Many, many people who trade the market don't get direction right. I have found a way to do that. I find a way by rating the gap to determine the directional bias. Correct.
And all large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. So they are looking at what? At the daily chart, at the weekly chart, at the monthly chart. They're looking at bigger time frames to make decisions. And then I am doing what? I am making my trades in a one minute chart. So it's also was designed to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame. And here's where the risk to reward payout is good, which is on the one minute chart. And that's what I trade. And this is a very high degree of focus and accuracy. So using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction, which you want to get right so you can make money with the power of money. And using the one minute chart allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy as a day trader. And that's how it all fits together. So I'm using the bigger picture to make the decision on the direction, and then I'm using a one minute chart to make a decision for my entries to get the good risk to reward. And that's how it all comes together. So how many gaps do I get per week? Everyone always asks me this. During earnings, quarterly earnings season, it's like three to five quality gaps per day or more potentially. During nodding earnings season, it's three to five quality gaps usually per week. And it depends on the week. There's times of the year that are busier than others. We're getting into the fall season here now, and fall is a very busy time to trade the market. A lot of people participate in fall trading. Investors, day traders, everyone. A quality gap is one that rates high enough to trade based on my 26-point rating system. And what does that mean? It means over 20. So in other words, I'm rating the gap. I'm not looking for a 26-point perfect score. I'm looking for a score of 20 or more. That's the idea. And if I get that rating, then I'm looking to trade it and watch it to trade on the day. And ultimately, my belief system and what I've proven is 100% correct is that success requires a plan, a 26-point checklist, an actual plan of something to do to set the tone for your day so you have some direction, know what to do, know what to look at. If you are waiting to take a train for something to pop up on your scanner at 10 o'clock, 10, 15, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, after the momentum hits and it pops up on the scanner, you're missing the move. You're missing the momentum. The idea is to pick a pre-market, post-market, to find something to watch, to play it into the open. And how do you do this with a checklist? And checklists work. The 26-point Golden Gap rating system helps you pick which stock to trade each day. It pinpoints ahead of time, and this is so much less stressful to train this way, having everything figured out ahead of the market open. It pinpoints ahead of time which stock will have the move in the day with volatility to trade. Having a checklist keeps you organized, okay, and focused. And what does this help? It helps your discipline with your trading. Having a checklist forces you to look at what you should be looking at in a chart, in a stock, to make the correct decision. Having a checklist helps assist you with directional bias, and having a checklist keeps you on track to reach your goals, which is to be a successful trader. A checklist is a plan of action ahead of time, thought out, a thought out process. And everyone that puts money into the market should have a plan of action and a checklist. To go into the market without such, without any strategy or any checklist is dangerous. And the best thing you can do for your training is to have everything figured out ahead of time to know exactly what you're going to do. And then you make the right decisions based on the chart instead of based on what's going on with the P&L in your platform. Really, ultimately, in a professional level, all high-income career field specialists have checklists. What am I talking about? Professional traders, doctors, pilots, dentists, anyone in a high-income career field, attorneys, the, before they go into court and, and decide to fight a case, all high-level income career potential, all these things have checklists. They do. Accountants. They all do. So you need it. It's just part of the, the part of what's required. So really, why do these work? These 26 points that I've been talking about here, why do they work? Well, the rating system works because it's so detailed. And it's really a detailed analysis of the price action. It also works because everything that is being looked at in each point uses a daily chart of the stock. And again, that's the major, major time frame that institutions are looking at when making decisions. The daily chart of a stock is the most powerful and real indication as to the trend in a stock for any trader of any kind. It doesn't matter if you're short or long term, investor or day trader. The price reading on the daily chart tells you everything you need to know about who is controlling the stock and in what direction. 
You must get the direction right on the daily chart if you want to make money trading. And anyone that's traded before knows this. And this is one of the reasons why people, you know, they want to trade the market. They don't understand how. How can I read what the direction really is? Gaps make it so easy for you to read the direction. Because the gaps are real, they're there, you can spot them, they're evident, and then when you have a checklist to go through and make sure, is this doing this, is this doing this, is this doing this, and then you know. And if it gets 20 points or more, you know it's going to work in the direction of the gap. So let's go over some examples here. I picked this particular stock symbol, CAG, because it was absolutely beautiful in the last week and a half with the moves that this has made. So let's start out here with this gap right here. This gap that happened back here on the 10th, you can easily see, it closed up here the night before at approximately 33.50 and gapped down the next morning here, this is on the 10th, and opened or under 32.50-ish, or right thereabouts. This had an awesome move on the day. The stock actually ran, talk about momentum, I'm going to show you this, the stock actually ran $2 on the day. So you see this bar here and you look at the rest of the chart. This is the biggest bar in the chart. So how did it set up? Immediately talk about in 30 minutes or less. The stock trade here hit here at 931. Stop is over the high of the day. How can you do this? You rate the gap. You rate the gap. You take the trade. You hit it. Boom. There it is. You actually could have replayed this. But this beautiful move happened here in the first five minutes of the day. And that's it. Your day, your day was done. There was no reason to do anything else. The entry time was 9.31. Price is 32.33 to enter. Stop was over 32.60. So again, this is an advanced trader. An advanced trader, if they risked about 500 bucks, would size themselves with 2,000 shares. Risk was 27 cents. An exit was into the drop before it bounced. Into the 9.35 reversal time. 9.35 is the reversal time in the market. Total profit on this trade is $3,060. And risk to reward is, guess what? It's better than three, it's better than four, it's almost six. So here again, you know, there was no reason to do any other trades this day. You could have retaken it, or your day could have been done in five minutes. Turning $540 into over 3,000 in five minutes. Let's go back and look at it. Here it is, right here, files off the planet. As it turns out, this actually was the low of the day. The stock reset up and could have been played again, but never broke the low. This move in here was the biggest move that it had all day. This was the biggest move that it had the entire day, and it all stemmed from the gap. It all stemmed from rating this gap here and reading the gap and seeing it to know this was even going to do something even similar to this. And as it turned out, it actually went past the target into the dream target. Of course, there was no reason to get out until it bounced. And here it is. Beautiful trade into the 9.35 reversal time, and your day is done. And you can go on with whatever you want to do. And this is one of the great reasons why I love to trade gaps. So guess what? It did it again the next day. The next day, I felt that that was so heavy into itself that first day that it would go the next day. This set up on September 11th for another momentum move. And guess what? Similar scenario hit right here and it triggered at 931, stopped over the high of the day and ran down here, did a double bottom, so you'd have to be out into this, did not go to the dream dream number, wanted it to break, actually 31, didn't do it on the day, but did have a nice, nice morning move. Entry time again, in, into the open between 930 and 10. 931 price is 31.78, stop over 31.90. This is a better, actually, uh, stop, small stop. This is only 12 cents. So you could have taken more here as an advanced trader. You could have taken 4,000 shares. Exit was into the double bottom at 31.25. Total profit was 21.20. And again, a nice three, four hour trade. Over four hours here. And so you risked almost $500 and made 2,100. This took you 22 minutes. But as soon as you took the trade, you were never down. As soon as you hit the trade and were, were in the trade, you were, you were green. Same thing in this one here. As soon as you hit the trade and it triggered, you were green. Immediately go. Fast and profit and drop into itself. Oops. Here. Same thing here. Boom. And you could have lowered the stop, actually, in this a couple different places down. I really usually don't do that. And this is a second setup, but you certainly could have done that in these and, and really, really like this to go on full on the second day. Didn't go to the dream number. Rally back up then in the daily chart and guess what? Reset up and gapped again on the 19th. This was last Thursday.
there was a beautiful morning play in this, actually two morning plays on Thursday. And, you know, this is once, once again, you know, sometimes things go and go to the bigger numbers than you could have ever imagined. In fact, let's go back to the daily chart of this before I go over the actual trade. Here was the, here was the second day. Here was the 10th. Here was the 11th. So there's actually a play in here to make money even onto the downside, even though the trade flipped around here and the exit was down here. This was a short on the day. That was the, that was the way to make money on this. And then it rallied up here, held the gap beautifully. Triggered on a daily sell setup held. Uh, what I loved about this for the move in here was that on this day here, the market actually rallied hard. This was the day of the FOMC minutes. It went big green, and this could barely get a breath of life and held here on the daily sell setup trigger high. So I love this thing. And then here was the move that I played down in here, and it went and broke and broke everything. I mean, just broke all the way, everything thought it could have gone to $30 at the time, and this chart is still lower. So even after this big momentum move that this had on the 10th, look, nine days later, it falls out of the sky again, and here it is. So on the 19th, you could have done it. What was the trade later? The trade of 1021 hit and had a, a beautiful entry of seven cents. At this time now, if you want to risk about 400 bucks, you could take 6,000 shares. Is there volume in this to do that? Absolutely. I only trade liquid stocks. Exit on this trade was into the drop down 3031 you would have gotten out. Total profit was 5280. And if so, if you had risked $420, you would have made 5280 in 30 minutes. This trade took 30 minutes to go and run, and the risk to reward is over 12. It's 12.57 times the amount risk made in profit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move all the way down into itself. Let's go look at it. So here's the entry. Tries to rally here, can't do it. Tries, 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 tries. Here's the entry. Stop over here. Boom. And there it is. And again, this could have gone to $30. Could have gone to $30, but this is a huge move here. And once you see something doing something like this, you like, if you're even still in this thing, your hands are the button to flip around and get out. Okay? Really nice payday. Hits and triggers. Here it is 10, 20, 10, 55, 30 minutes. And many, many times, like I showed you in the first trade, they'll happen in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But usually in 30 minutes, you should be up money and have something into itself where you've got the move and you're getting it going and you're getting the risk to reward. So I wanted to just do an example here to show you that this can be done for beginners. You don't have to take an advanced level risk. If you're new, I suggest you do start at a beginner level. This guy here, he's just getting going. He's learning the information, but he can't wait to trade. He wants to make money. He doesn't want to risk $500. His account can't even withstand that. So he's going to risk less, but he's still going to do the CAG trade. He's going to do the CAG trade. He's just learning this, and now he sees his stuff is really good. So he decides to take a trade. He only risked $42. Same exact trade on September 9th and risked 42 bucks. And he makes $528 to risk $42 and make over $500. This is a beautiful trade. Anyone, anyone can do this. Risking 40 bucks. Why is it so great? It's, you know, a great gap, a, an excellent gap, a beautiful gap, a strong, strong move, lots of momentum, weak as can be, breaking, breaking, breaking. And the risk to reward is huge. This is how you can risk this amount of money and make this amount of money. And um, while well, you don't need millions and millions and millions of dollars to trade the market as a day trader, because you can trade on any level. It doesn't have to be some crazy risk. You risk exactly what you're comfortable risking. This is what I tell people. What's your comfort level? Risk your comfort level so you can focus on what you're doing here to get the trade right, to get the trade right, to get the entry right, to get the stop right, to rate the gap right. If you are risking more than you're comfortable risking and you're not okay with it, back it off because you're risking too much then you'll screw up the trade you'll kill it you'll get out early you'll lower the stop too soon you'll do all kinds of stuff you want to have conviction conviction so you can get paid in a move and if you kill it too early or take it again take it again take it again take it in and out three times every time it goes some way against your direction you kill the trade you're never going to get paid and that the idea of getting risk to reward is to stick it through with the trades the only time lower stop is when it resets up and sometimes that happens but not always it's not about lowering the stop to break even. It's about playing these out to get paid, to get the move, and understanding really this. This is this is it. I mean, this is in here. How do I know the CAG is going to drop big on the day? 
because I rate the gap. How do I know this chart is going to go in the direction down because I'm rating the gap? How do I know it's good? It rates over 20 points and the stock is just lower. There's, there's nothing to do here but short this to the end of time until it says otherwise. The trend in this chart is down. So you play it in the downward direction. And of all the gaps in the day to trade in the last two weeks, this is just a fantastic, beautiful move that I had conviction in. So as a beginner, you can certainly do this and just take less risk and do the exact same trades as an advanced trader with whatever amount of money you can afford. Ultimately, though, your goal, and to do this long term, is really to trade with size. The only difference between a beginner trader, intermediate trader, and an advanced trader is size. A trader cannot risk more money per trade and take size until they know how to accurately trade over a period of months. However, trading with size is the goal. I mean, this really has to be the goal if you want to make a lot of money in the market. One play with size can make your whole week. Two or three great plays a month can make your whole month. And months when you get lots of huge plays to dream targets, you are incredibly happy. And then you realize why you wanted to do this in the first place. The reason you may have wanted to trade the market in the first place was you wanted to make a lot of money. I know me personally, that's the reason I even got into this back at the end of the 2008. I didn't get into this to make a dink. I got into this because I wanted to make a lot of money in the stock market and I had 100% conviction that I could do it and that it was possible. So ultimately, trading with size does have to be the goal. You start out small, you work it up, you trade what you're comfortable with the risk, and you learn how to do it. But trading with size is the way to go because the stocks move the same for people that are in them a literal lot. And the power of money is what's moving these stocks so you can trade them with them, even with size. So I want to talk a little bit here about fast trading and the brain. You know, the way that our brains function is, I truly believe, and I know because I'm doing this, that we can function at high, high optimal levels for a short period of time. It is extremely difficult to function at a high, high, high level with your brain for eight hours a day. You can, and it is possible to be perfect for a short period of time. I am doing that. So we can do this. You have a great brain. You have a beautiful brain. Work your brain and do it. But this doesn't mean overtrading, and it doesn't mean it's sitting in front of the computer for eight hours a day. And so that's why gaps are great, too, because you're, you're in there, and they're, they, ha they do work quickly, and your brain can comprehend and make these decisions and trade in that time frame and be totally 100% focused for that short time frame. It's, it becomes extremely difficult as the day goes on to be so focused for eight hours straight from 9.30 to 4. So the idea of doing gaps is you are asking of yourself what you are capable of doing and giving and, and performing. You are capable of performing at a high level for a short period of the day during the time when the gap set up and trade and work. It gets extremely st stressful as the day goes on, eight hours of training to perform at that level. It's like if a doctor had to operate on someone and be in surgery for 48 hours because they do it. No, no, they, they couldn't. They have to have someone come in and take over. Okay. It gets to the point where your brain, what your capacity, what your level of performance, what you're capable of doing, we can do it in this time frame. I know because we can, and we got to be on, and you can do it. And this is where the checklist helps, and you're on, and you're focused, and you know what to look for, and the market opens, and you do it, boom, and you book the money, and you're out, and you take the trade. So our brains are capable of doing this. We can do it. I talk about this some more in the Wealth Manifestation class. Uh, you know, amino acids are actually very, very important for our brain functions. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do to help our brains perform at high levels. And this is what has enabled me to actually figure out all the stuff in the market. My fantastic brain has enabled me to figure out all the 26 points and trade every single day as best that I can. So really, ultimately, maybe the reason you're trading is for financial freedom or just to do something that you like, which I'm doing. Somebody said to me the other day, gosh, you know, Melissa, I never saw somebody trading that has more fun than you. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I do love to trade and it's fun. It's fun to make money. Why? Of course it is. What does having financial freedom mean to you? Having financial freedom means being able to pay your bills effortlessly. Not work more than 40 hours a week, have time for your family and friends, and be able to enjoy some leisure time in your life. Getting to that point of realizing that the market can bring you 
the financial freedom you want takes learning how to trade properly and a focus. Knowing what to do and when to do, it, it counts. Having the right information to know what to look for makes a world of difference in your trading and really de-stresses you. So you can just focus. You have to have the right knowledge and focus. This takes away from the element of risk. Then you're not so obsessed and possessed about the risk element because there's no way of getting around it. When you trade the market, you're going to risk money. You determine how much you're risking, but there's no way around it. The only way to make money in the market is to risk money in the market. In fact, the essence of the market. What is the market? The market is a place for people that are willing to take risks to make profit. That is what the market is. And you've got to know what to do. So how are you going to get the right knowledge? You're going to learn how and get a checklist. And this is what I teach in my class. My class is called the Golden Gap Course. The Golden Gap Course teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps, which is what I love to do. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. And the course also teaches you how to play the stock on the day, which is how you're going to do these entries like I just showed. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. Steve is asking me if I trade options like this. Steve, I do not trade anything other than equities. However, that being said, I have had people that have done the course and used the information to take options trades. Why? Because this teaches you how to get the direction right in the overall move. And so I know people are doing this. I personally am not, but I know that people have taken my class and told me they did option trades and they've done them successfully. So if you're interested to talk to people that have done that, you can email me. I can refer you to those people. Uh, it depends. You know, obviously, the stock, it has to make sense. I know a bunch of people that have done that on my call on Apple uh, to the downside, doing it as an option. And how did they know? They read the gaps in Apple, reading the directional bias. Me, myself, I'm perfectly happy doing nothing but this. And I'm probably never going to do anything but this. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, you can use the information to do whatever you see fit in whatever trading genre you can if it helps you make money doing it. Because, I, you know, ideally, that's the objective. So a checklist is invaluable, absolutely invaluable, and it tells you what to trade and look for each day. And this is the most challenging thing for people. What stock symbol am I going to trade today? What's the direction to take it? The checklist helps you with that. And it is very efficient. A checklist is efficient to save you time. Efficiency counts. How much effort and how much time are you putting into your trading each day? And how much money do you have to show for that effort? I mean, this is really what I'm talking about, people. If you've been training for years and years and years and you don't have anything to show for it, take a step back, reevaluate, reassess. Use your amazing brain to decide, what the heck am I doing here? Do I even have a strategy in the first place? And if you don't, you got to find one. Trading efficiently helps you get better results. Less time, less work, and more money. That's a dream career to me. I, and I'm living it. Less stress and better results are the goal. And gaps are done in the morning and have great momentum results. Having a checklist keeps you efficient to stay away from not great plays, because I don't take anything if it doesn't rate high enough over 20, and then to stick to the good ones, to focus on the goodies. Having a checklist is absolutely invaluable. So what would be some of the reasons to learn the Golden Gap system if you would like to trade gaps and learn how I do it? Well, if you want to make money working 30 minutes a day or less, that's one good reason. If you want to make a lot of money with a limited and controlled amount of risk, if you want to make good risk-to-reward trades, again, three to four minimum. And if you want to learn how to trade and you need a proven strategy in the market, and everyone needs some kind of strategy, even if you're a long-term trader. If you already are a trader right now and you need a strategy that makes you consistent and fast profits, maybe you're doing something, but it's not enough. You're not getting the setups enough. The money doesn't come fast enough. As soon as you take your trades, you're suffering for two hours before they go. I could never trade like that every day. And if you want to trade the market and your time is limited each week, which actually is true for a lot of people because many, many people want to trade full time, they have to make a transition. How do you do that? Gaps are a good way to do that. First of all, it's a solid strategy. Second of all, it happens at a limited time during the day to make money in a short period of time. So you can still transition from your full or part-time job now or career into a new one until you're making and risking enough money trading gaps to be able to quit your full-time job. It's a, actually a great strategy to transition. And I did this when I made the transition. So it's a great way to make it. 
Reasons to learn the golden gap is to trade the momentum. Trading the momentum, getting the momentum. Momentum trading is one of the most profitable and fastest ways to make money trading. That's what makes these things go and run when the people that are controlling the stock of CAG, are, they're selling it. They're selling out of it. People were long that stock. They sold out of it. They sold out of it twice big, two huge big days in just in a week. You've got to learn how to take a position in a stock in anticipation that the stock will have an explosive move because after it happens, what's the point? You won't get paid. You've got to get in it before it happens. These enormous moves happen in one direction. They happen fast. Momentum trading is very profitable. And as long as you enter the play before the fast and big move takes place, you're going to get paid. The idea is to get into it beforehand. And another great reason is the risk to reward. That's another great reason to learn how to trade the golden gap. Trading gaps makes financial and intellectual sense due to the risk to reward payout. For every dollar you risk in a trade, you should be looking to make more than a dollar, even two dollars. Honestly, some people are only making one to two in their trades. I couldn't be bothered. I see trades like that and pass. You've got to have conviction and believe that the market actually can pay you. And how are you going to do that? you gotta, you got to see the money. It's like, you know, that movie, show me the money kind of thing. Until you do it, you're not going to believe. Ideally, you want to make 3 to $4 on the low end and a potential for $10 or more in the high end per dollar risk. Because once you make days like that, and, and I call them comma days for anyone at any level, just like that, that beginner trader who risked 40 bucks and made over 500 you know, you've got to have, see those kind of numbers to have conviction to do it. And then you move forward. Trading gaps makes it worthwhile to trade because the risk to reward pad is great. And you make your money work for you when you trade gaps. So not only do you have it happening in a short period of time, but the risk to reward is wonderful. I mean, even if you had to sit and wait two hours, you'd want to do it to get paid to make three, four, five, six, seven hours in the day. Honestly, I probably wouldn't because I'm an impatient person. And that's why I love gaps. I like being up as soon as I take the trade. I like the moves to happen fast. I like to book the money as quickly as I can, go green as soon as I can in the morning. But even if you had to wait, it's worth it with gaps because of the risk to reward. So really learn how to make money quickly in the day. How do you do this? Train gaps. Train the strategy gaps. Ultimately, what I'm teaching people, and I firmly believe this, in it, and I'm getting conviction every day as I'm teaching people uh, who are profitable, that I'm teaching people what is called value-added education. Don't waste years of your life trying to make a little bit of money while you are actually losing money in commissions and the market by taking plays and doing trades that are not of value. Maybe you're not getting paid, you're waiting too long, they lose half the time. Learn what trades are valuable. Learn how to read the direction of stocks. Learn how to read trends. Learn how to read power of money in the market because that's what sets the market. And don't waste time trading for months and years with no conviction. You need to have conviction. And if you don't know what this means, then you'll know it once you trade with me because I have 100% conviction when I take trades and it follows it through. And this is the only way to trade when you have conviction in a trading strategy, you can produce positive results and make money. When you do not have conviction in a trading strategy, do not expect positive results. You could do something for 25 years, and if you don't have conviction in it, you're not going to see the results. you got to have conviction in what you're doing. If you're doing something you don't have conviction, then stop. Regroup. Rethink about it. Reassess. Use that great brain you have to actually figure out, maybe I don't even know what conviction is because I never did anything that really worked that good. And then you have to start exploring. And this is what I'm teaching people. This was Adobe, actually. This was back uh, last week. And, you know, the thing is, Adobe was so, so extended here in this gap app. This was a, was a quality golden gap to the upside, a bullish gap. Here's something where if you didn't have conviction to take this as a long and hold this as a long till it went, with the stop at the right place to wait to get paid, you didn't make money. Many, 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 many traders wanted to short and fade this gap. It was not a fade. It wasn't coming in. This was a great bullish gap. It was a long. It was a long. It was a long. And you had to wait to go. And if you did, you got paid. And it was such a tough trade and really paid, it played out beautifully. And actually had a move here on Friday. A great example of conviction. And I could name a million examples of this. How do you know? What do you do? How do you have conviction? You rate the gap. You determine that this is a good bullish gap and this isn't going anywhere but up. And that it's actually being bought. It's actually being bought the day of the gap. So why would you short it? No one's going to sell this thing. Nobody's even up. Nobody's even up yet. 
it's barely gone anywhere. So it's getting bought into the gap and it's going to continue and follow through. Remember, the trend is your friend. Follow through, follow through, follow through continuation. Look at CAG. Look at Adobe. Look at the market. So the stock swish LLC and me, me, Melissa. Melissa Armo, I am teaching people how to trade for profit. I am teaching people how to do it. I'm doing it myself, and I am actually teaching people who are making money with me. I could not be more thrilled. You know, I did not set out to do this to teach people. I made it for myself because I wanted to make money in the market. And now that I am teaching people and they are making money, I cannot tell you how terrific it feels. It, it's amazing. I have 100% conviction in gaps and the market to pay people. You do have to learn how to trade. You do have to learn how to trade. And I know there's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of things out there. But somewhere inside of you, and, and again, use your brain, somewhere inside of you, you have to listen to that inner voice and trust yourself to make decisions on what to learn and what to trade and what to do. So the Golden Gap course will teach you how to make money in the market, will teach you how to get conviction in the market's ability to pay you, and I mean pay you money, and will teach you the correct way to trade gaps, which is in the direction of the gap, by the way, when they rate 20 points or more. So empower yourself today to make more money in your life and trade the stock market, the U.S. stock market. Learn how to make money in the market. It's there for that purpose. That's the reason the market exists, for profit. The Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. It is all the pieces of the puzzle. I teach the 26 points. I teach something called the swoosh, uh, which I made up in the market and is a huge play. And I teach how to enter the trades and exit the trades. So the class is this weekend. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. You can retake the class for free as many times as you need to after you sign up for it for the first time. So it's September 28th and 29th, this Saturday and Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. The class is online, so you could be anywhere in the world and sign into the online classroom, just like here today. It's through Hotcom, and you ask questions, and I teach, and it's a live class. If you're interested, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I also am doing a special. I'm giving the Wealth Manifestation class away for free with the course this weekend. So anyone that does the class this weekend is going to get this extra class for free, and this is a great course. It will be September 30th, which is Monday, from 1 to 4. It's normally $3.99, so actually you're getting this as a bonus for the class this weekend. If you take the Golden Gap class, you're going to get this class for free. This is really a course that focuses on how your mind works to make trading decisions, and it talks a lot about money in the mind. It's a great trading psychology class. If you've been struggling with things within yourself about your own issues, Issues with money and trading, this class will help to bring some things together for you. So all new students at the September 28th and 29th Golden Gap class will receive for free the Trading Psychology class Wealth Manifestation. So it's two classes for the price of one. Great way to go into the fall. Great way to go into the fall to trade successfully. Remember, the future is yours to create. Just like the future is mine to create for my own life and my own trading. And the future is yours to create too. Don't forget this. You know, whatever situation your life is in right now, you can turn it around if it's not something what you want, if it's not ideal. Have faith. Have, have faith. Believe in yourself that you have the power to do it. Remember what I said. You have an amazing brain, an amazing mind. You are capable of doing this to a high level of perfection within a short period of time in the day. You do have to learn what to do, but you certainly can do it. So fall is a great time to trade the market. Thank you so much for coming. Does anyone have any questions? We're done a few minutes early now here. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Any questions about anything with the class? Anything with gaps? My watch for tonight, if anyone's interested, is RHT. I have not read it yet. However, I will be looking at that later this evening. Anyone have any questions? And if you're interested, you can also email me here. At Melissa at the stockswish.com. There you go. And also here I'll put my phone number in the room too if you need to give me a call if you have any direct questions. So again, my email is Melissa at the stockswish.com. And also you can give me a call there, my number in the bottom there. 
The class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And watch for tomorrow is RHT to the downside. Yes, Mark. If anyone's interested in references, you can email me and I can forward you that information as well. Uh, actually, I, I have such great students. They, they have been so terrific. They have been more than willing to give referrals to people because they're performing. So I'm so grateful to the students I've had that are successful. Um, they're more than willing to talk to people because they're happy. <laughs> Another question here. Uh, yeah, well, the idea is, yes, uh, someone's asking about finding the stocks that are gapping. Yes, I tell you that in the class. And then you have to rate them. So you have to find them first, and then you have to rate them. The rating part of it is the bulk of it. It's easy to find them, and yes, I, I tell you. I tell you how to find them. Uh, it it's just that you'll find a bazillion. And so that's why the rating is really, really so special, because you got to sort through the bad ones to get to the goodies. All you have to do is email me. If you would like referrals, email me directly and I can send you the information at melissa at the stockswish.com. Okay, D-Y and also Mark. Email me D-Y and uh, Mark. How much time per night does this take? You don't have to do it at night, you can do it in the morning. Sometimes I do it at night, sometimes I do it in the morning. Uh, it depends. If I'm too tired at night, I'll wait and do it in the morning. But I get up early in the morning uh, and look at stuff too. So sometimes things are gapping at night between 4 and like 7 o'clock Eastern time. And depending on what time zone you're in, you may want to do it at night. And if you want to get up early, get up like 7 o'clock in the morning and do it and be all prepped and ready to go before the open. It really doesn't take that long to rate each gap. Uh, you know, obviously I can do it very fast because I've been doing this for five years, but if you're new, it might take you five, ten minutes to go through one, but you're not going to rate 20 million, okay? You're going to pick a couple and rate them, and how do you know that? Well, I teach this in the class. You're actually going to sift through, I'd say probably 90, 95% of the things that are graphing. You're not even going to think to even rate Okay, so it actually doesn't take that long. You could probably rate three gaps in in uh, fifteen minutes, and and again, I can do it faster. But I actually don't do it fast. I actually like to take my time. I like to make sure I'm seeing everything. Like Red Hat, I'll take my time with it because I really like to be focused. It really helps me have conviction. I'm going through everything. The more you can do to get yourself the conviction, the better you're going to trade, and then it helps you take the trade and stick with it. How, uh, how long does it take to raise stock before the open? Yeah, OMT, that's what LB had just asked. If you're quick, you could do it like in two, three minutes. But if you're new, it's probably going to take you between five and ten. So it really depends. you gotta get got to get practice at it. How long is it going to take you to get good at it, to rate them fast? I'd say, it, you know, you could get good at it within a week. Within a week of practicing them after you do the class, it's not like it's going to take you like forever and ever to do this. Once you learn how to do it and have everything down, you're just going to go through it just the same way I do. So it may take you a week to practice them. And practice makes perfect. Remember, that's why getting up in the morning and rating your gaps is good. It gives you practice doing it. LB is asking another question here. Let me wait till he's finished with the question. He's asking me what's the percentage of ones that work and ones that lose for the gaps. I'm going to give you two answers here, LB. Gaps and also trades. For the actual gaps, I went back over the last uh, couple of months. This is back over the summer. As far as the point rating system, 20 or more, to rate the overall trend of the stock for follow through on the day and in the bigger direction, it's over 90%. I was even amazed. There was gaps that I did that failed on the day of the day trade, but followed through them the next day or the next day. And in the trend overall, it's an amazingly uh, high percentage ratio. Like if you would want to do these as swing or core trades. For day trades to do, there are days where some of them fail. And I conservatively tell people that it's between 75 and 80. Although if I went back and looked, to be honest with you, in the last month, <laughs> things have been going really well. I mean, honestly... <laughs> The more, the more that you trade, the better you get. 
I'm just not doing things that are, that don't work at all. I can almost see it before it happens. And and the things that I see they're going to work, I'm just all over them. So, you know, this is experience. I've been doing this now for 5 years. I have an extremely high uh, you know, percentage of trades that work even on the day, you know, but conservatively I'm going to say between 75 and 80. And if you're brand brand new, you're still going to see good results. Why? Because I'm looking at so many things. I'm looking at more things than anybody I know. 26 things is a boatload of things to look at to get the direction right. And my, I set out to do it. I wanted to try to find something that was perfect. There is no 100% in the market. But I was like, how can I find something that works so much? And, and that's why my system is strict. Um, you can find them before they open. Yes, that's how I trade. I always do that. Like I just said, I liked Red Hat tonight. There it is. I'm going to watch Red Hat tomorrow morning. Might I watch something else? Maybe. But I'm in love with Red Hat and the builders are out tomorrow morning. Len, the earnings are out uh, tomorrow morning on some of the builders. KBH and Len, I'm going to look at them too. But I was in love with Red Hat. I actually saw Red Hat's chart. I even can do this and see, you know, I can... I. You know, once you get knowing what to look for, okay, like in the, you know, when I trade, I look to see, okay, what is up for tomorrow? And I say, oh, if this gap's down, I'm going to, I'm going to love this thing. It's going to rate high. So I'm even looking at them before they even gap to try to figure out if they're going to work. Now, I'm not taking the trades before then, mind you, but I'm like getting ready to watch them. That's how I knew to watch the red hat. So I am definitely knowing before the market wave and opens. And sometimes I'm looking at things and I like them before they even do anything at all because I'm, they're up to have some, some earnings report, okay? And there's lots of reasons for stocks to gap. Stocks can gap on downgrades, news, upgrades. Something happens with a CEO. They can gap with the market. They can gap on earnings. There's a bazillion reasons for gaps. But the earnings ones you know ahead of time because all you do is look at the earnings list of things. And that's how new Red Hat was out there. But gaps can happen all over the place. All over the place for any given reason. Like Apple's gap up today was on news. Okay? It was a big gap up today in news. It was, it was a fade. It was a failed bullish gap, but that was a news gap. It was a huge gap on news. So gaps can happen for any, any number of reasons. But you can certainly watch stuff and know what to do way ahead of time. That's the whole reason to do the checklist. You wouldn't have time. If you're waiting to do it into the open, you'd never have time. In fact, not only do I have a checklist to guide through it, I actually have a sheet I fill out. I'll tell you this real quick and then I'll let everyone go. I have a sheet that I fill out. I actually write down the targets way before the open. When I After I write the gap, I write down the targets. Where am I going with it? That's how I'm determining if it has a good risk to reward. I see where the price is gapping in the morning, pre and post market. And then I look at where the target is to see if I've got a good risk to reward there. Okay, that's how I know if I even want to do the trade. So I'm looking at that. I've got the targets, and I also write down all the support and resistance numbers for the stock. I write all this stuff down before I even, I'm all prepped and ready to go. I am so, so focused on price and what I'm doing in the morning, so focused on everything whenever I figure out my gaps. I mean, this is how I've become successful. And I'm teaching people what to look for as well to know what to do it. In fact, one of the traders today played a continuation gap um, in DRI following through to the downside lower, he had a huge day. I mean, he watched it. It had a huge day. It was just nothing but a continuation gap. It wasn't even a new gap, okay? It had a beautiful dollar move. Um, my Facebook a while ago has been very good. Yes, I called Facebook. I called a beautiful call on Facebook. I called a beautiful call on Netflix to the upside. I, I called Alta to the upside. I've called some good long gaps this year, actually, uh, following through for bigger moves. Alta, Netflix, Facebook. Adobe's higher now too, all of them. Yeah. I mean they're they're working nicely. If you've been following me um on YouTube or anywhere, you can you can see. I and I'm calling the market great too. Really calling the market great. And actually I think the market uh follows through to the upside tomorrow, even though we're down the last three days. I'll give you a little market call there. <laughs> I have to see where the market gaps tomorrow morning, but I we're not going down anymore, I don't think tomorrow morning. And if we do, if it's for a quick move down and then reverse flip, because we're higher. We're higher overall in the market this year. So I'm trading bearish gaps in a bullish market and it's working. So what do you think is going to happen the, when the market turns? You know what I'm saying? Dream targets every day. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Email me if you'd like uh, more information. Thanks. Yes, I do have a lot of enthusiasm. I, I love what I do. I actually love trading. It's, it's so much fun. And I like teaching people too. So email me if you'd like. Thank you so much, OnlineTraderCentral.com. And uh, I'll see everyone soon. Email me if you'd like to do the class this weekend. Have a great night, everybody.